that's my boy hey guys and girls all right today we gotta go collect some doll hairs that's how we pay our bills through the rentals um i've been driving the g35 a little bit i've got to get some smaller back tires i actually thought about i probably put like a 275 35 on the front and i forget what the front ones are but they're smaller than the back ones that it's on there and just move the ones that are on the front now to the back and take the 295 35 295 45 something 295s take those completely off because they're just way too much tire um so once i do that i'll be able to drive a little more feel a little more comfortable because it's rubbing the it's actually rubbing the inside of the tire <coughs> on the uh the actual strut tower and on the outside it's rubbing the um, outer fender the actual quarter panel so i'm afraid it's going to end up cutting the sidewall out of it and end up having a flat and some of these rentals are an hour away so um yeah so um, i'm going to do that before i i drive it too much but if i don't have the tires by the time this weekend comes i think we're going drifting this weekend but if i don't have the tires by then um i will actually just run the factory g35 wheels and that way i've got some drift spares and everything else so that's you know the way we'll get around that but um i'm not going to drive it every day until i get that worked out and i don't want to have to fight changing the wheels and tires until i get some tires or figure out what i'm doing with it so in the meantime i'm going to drive the um, 335 here so it needs a bath and so does my rollback it's back here behind me somewhere at my house so we'll get that we're going to chase some rent and we end up to shop some today i think so i'll see you here in a little bit stay tuned all right so i checked on some fluids and i checked the antifreeze i did check the oil and everything on the g35 was was dead on it was topped right off so i don't think we're leaking anything i just continue to keep a, an eye on that again like i say the back tires you can see the fronts here once it's sat on the ground well you might be able to now the back so as you're driving those tires are entirely too big so they end up if you hit any kind of pothole or any kind of sharp turn you're feeling the the tires being scrubbed real bad by the suspension and the actual outer fender well so the front ones can't remember what size they are but they're definitely way smaller than the back ones so I'm going to order some 275 35s, I think. And if they're smaller, I think they're actually going to be smaller than the ones that I have on the front. I'm going to put them on the front and take the front ones and move them to the back because they'll be a little bigger. So, but at the same time, I'm going to, those are Nitto 555s. Do I shred them and just take me a set of drift spares and change them at the track? Or do I sell those still in halfway decent condition and you know justify the money on ordering the other tires so that's the question because those are 200 and something dollar a piece tires they are a little skin up on the outside and the inside but if somebody got them at this point they would still be okay salvageable they're not cut real deep or anything they're just scraped up they'd probably be okay but at the same time drifting and shredding the surface you know what I do there so so gonna make a few decisions I'll probably be drifting this weekend I'm planning on I've got some guys coming from Kentucky tonight to buy a transmission that come out of the automatic G35 so those guys will be here in a little while it's five they're getting here at like 9 30 ish probably tonight and so um, I'll put that money that money was invested into this motor or into this um, G35 so that money's pretty much gonna go back into this to the white G35 because it you know it was already spent so I may go ahead and 
buy a those tires I did order the I didn't get the Bell Raceworks uh, rear diff brace I did order the GK Tech one so I'll probably go ahead and order the GK Tech um, angle kit and may do some dual caliper stuff somewhere right there with that so that way I have my my e-brake I probably won't have it in and on by this weekend but I'll at least have it bought I'll try to go ahead and get it bought and get it on the way so that way we can start getting our drift car ready so either we're doing it or we're not so I'm at that point where I'm either 100% in or I don't have time for it just the same but I do have the rentals to work on this week so I won't be able to install it this week but I can probably go ahead and order it because I do need to get back to the rental start hauling some stuff out of there um, I got a ton of furniture that's outside I've got all that get all that finished cleaning up I've took five loads it's 90 96 trash bags the 42 gallon um, commercial three mil something like that trash bag so I gotta finish there's only a few more um, bags left or a few more trash bags full of stuff left I'll get that done once I get that done I'll go to cleaning and once I start cleaning I'll go room by room clean top to bottom get every room at least clean and under control then I'll reassess it and see how bad the smell is see um, the oil based kilts oil based kilts will actually mask odor and that type of thing so like when I work for a fire and water restoration company if something had burnt you could put oil based kilts on it so I'm going to go that route and that will at least mask the odor for now and get it re-rented. I'll have to put some flooring and carpet and all that stuff in it. But I've got to get it clean before I can even really assess it. There's some structural issues that's not the renter's fault. And it being tore this far down, no floor covering, no nothing that I'm worried about getting, you know, trash in the floor, vinyl or any of that stuff, I can go ahead and get that structural stuff done too while I'm there without damaging anything so get it done and go ahead and get that settled all that straightened out and then start putting it all back and see what we come up with so there's a lot of heat and air ducts got to be worked on too so there's plenty of work I just gotta figure out which direction I'm, I've got to get it clean first so and then so I'll be working on that I may do that a certain amount of days a week and stay down there and then come back here through the weekend or maybe a day or two here and there kind of set me a schedule up to, that I'm gonna work a schedule so I can get some of this stuff done and finished I need to get this car out of here and get some of these cars hauled off too much for one man at some point that's the reason I'm getting rid of some of these cars is to just minimize the hassle the rentals I, there's nothing I can do I have to work on them. They have, they pay the bills, so I've got to get that squared away and shoot videos and all of the above. Hang tight. Here we go. All right, so my transmission buyer was coming from Louisville, Kentucky, or something. So they're like two hours away or whatever, or uh, crap, four hours away, something like three and a half hours, something like that. And then so I've waited here for two hours. Dude told me they're on the way. So, sitting here, kind of tinkering with cars, kind of getting a game plan, ordered some parts for the e-brake stuff for my son's car. And then the guy messaged me and like, uh, yeah, my ride's not coming or whatever. So, two hours later, and it's a four-hour drive, and it's like 7.30 in the evening. So, it's going to be like 11.30 before they get here. I'm not sitting here all evening waiting on them. And, there's other things I'd rather be doing. So, and I don't have anything. It's not really anything I can work on at the moment. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I'll just call it a night. And maybe they'll work out something this weekend to come get that transmission. I don't need it. It's an automatic transmission. I think I've got a price fairly well. It's a decent price or whatever. I think the guy's going to want some interior parts if he does get the transmission. So, I'll have to wait on them to figure out what they're doing. And I'm waiting on some other parts. So we'll be doing a what's in the box kind of deal here in the next couple days. I got several things coming. And so 
may work on the rental some until we get some of that stuff in and, and have a couple installs and I think that's about all I got going on besides the rentals and some parts coming for some minor installs. I do have some Hondas and stuff. I'm debating on pulling some of this stuff out, going ahead and getting a Honda or two in here and turn some wrenches because I have quite a few parts for them. I can keep going forward with those things. And I do have a couple I need to pull engines out of and get rid of the shells. I've got a DA Integra, the shell's not mine. EK Civic, the shell's not mine. I need the sunroof, or not the sunroof, but the headliner out of it. So I need to get all that stuff over here and get it all took out, what I need, and then get rid of those cars. So, yeah. And then I've got an EK to put together. And we may start on Del Sol. So, yeah. So I may do that and get some more stuff going. We'll see. Um, but that kind of sucks that those dudes are not coming after I've sat here for two hours. I was like, yeah, only two more hours, they'll be here. No. All right, here we go.